I jumped on over here with part 16, I think, of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Byzantine Empire. With our fifth or sixth fifth character at the hand. We can we can check. So five, four, three, two, one. There we go. F fifth character. Um Yeah, anyway, so what have we been up to? We've been bullying these guys like crazy, and by bullying I mean conquering them. But I just keep breaking breaking truces. Oh, that's what we were doing. We were smashing up the papal revolt, I remember now. Took a you know, walked away for about an hour, got some food. Already forgotten what I was doing. It's important to take breaks. Should we go back to war with them? I think so. Cause the papal states they're a big thorn in my side and I want I need one of their territories. So I want to weaken them as much as possible. I don't care about my prestige, this doesn't matter anymore. So, go for Potau. Oh, I don't know how it's pronounced. And, let's go. Shouldn't require that much effort, I mean, we really built up our... our military infrastructure here, so we could just go in and take this. There's only three settlements to take now. And plus, they've also recently been smashed. So, very easy to take. See, the, the garrisons have not recovered. Right. Holy Precipice! Ah! Well, if I don't say so myself, let's have a look at that. So, I already know what it is. It's the, uh, it's the foreskin of Jesus Christ. The weirdest fucking relic. You know? I remember... I've already said this, but I remember when I made that joke about, you know, Muhammad's beer hair. How do they know it's not his dick hair? And like, it, well, I didn't get a lot of backlash, but I got a little bit of backlash from it, from Muslims, you know, because I, I do have a, a you know, decent-sized Muslim following, and they they do take their their prophet very seriously, and so I should be very careful when, you know, insulting him and such. Um, but you know, that was a joke, and that's actually this one here is actually real. I didn't mean it to be disrespectful. Oh fuck! I wasn't even. I, I, I wasn't even thinking about being disrespectful or not. I honestly didn't care. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll grant you that. Now we don't have enough prestige to hit them. One. Oh, it's over. It's over. Okay. But I could declare war on the Pope for Latium. And now they're very weakened from it. I think we should do this. Holy War for Latium. You need to get over there. I'm going to need your support on this one. we got to move fast before the entirety of the defensive pack descends upon us. Which would not be good. But this rebellion was a fucking godsend for us. Damn, what'd I get? A relic. Lombard Lance of the Cross. Is that the fucking... Hang on, let me have a look here. No way. No way, did we just get the Spear of Destiny? No, it wasn't. So this one here is, yeah, whatever. I'll just it's in my treasury. It's fine. All right, like I said, gotta move quick, get what we want, and get out. So they want a war against Saxony. What does that mean, though? Weird that China would go all that way to Saxony. Fine, whatever. Chances of success are virtually nil. That's it. 
easy. And it was made easy thanks to that rebellion. And I have one out of three of the remaining wars left to, be, uh, to restore the Roman Empire. Alright, so take a little bit of a rest after that. Should I keep this? Probably not. I think I'll just hand it straight over to, to, um, to him. Alright, if I usurp that, let me just see here. Uh, restore the Roman Empire. Yeah, we need to completely control it, which means we need Orvieto as well. And we need Genoa. So that means fighting this guy here, and that's not as easy. Now, just out of curiosity, if I was to declare one last holy war here, we could finish them off once and for all. Well, actually, it wouldn't finish them off once and for all. And no, it might. Now would be the best time to do it since they've got no garrison. We'd just basically walk right in there and take it. No one would be able to stop us. But I did just... Look, just give it a moment. i got to get some troops back. Plus I need some prestige. Saxon Defense Pact, huh? Yeah, so now they've been called the Western Protectorate. I can still declare a war on them, but if I do... Yeah, I don't know, just, just leave it. Yeah. I don't like summoning the Divine Being. Grand debate. What else you got in your treasury? Silver hilted warhammer. Mm. Somebody gets Spear of Destiny. Or maybe the True Cross or something like that. That'd be cool. We ready to go? Let's just check. We've already recovered a decent number of troops. I say we go now. Shit. Fucking troops walking around in my fucking land. Uh, they're gonna lose, but that's okay. We got the rest of these guys here. Just gotta move fast. Oh, we won. Okay, cool. Like I said, just move fast. Capture it before anyone knows what's hit him. Just keep him busy. Come on, hurry up. And we're done. The Lost Claim. Though Pope Leo III fought long and hard for his lands in the Italian peninsula, he, he has finally had to give up. Uh, with the losses, he has also... Sorry, he all... He has also... Oh my God. He has also had to... That's so badly written. He has also had to relinquish all of their old claims to the Roman lands stretching throughout the peninsula. Uh, without the papal influence throughout the peninsula, new conquerors and nobles will certainly try to fill the void they left by the Holy See. Holy See. The rulers and city-states throughout the lands embrace, yeah, embrace for the conflicts that are sure to come. I think that was very well written. Uh, could I get the duchy, please? There you go. Good. The Pope is out of here. He, he might find some way back. But... He'll never become powerful enough to, to do anything to us. Of the of the mid helibit isn't that the one over yeah it was this one here 
they had like oh the Abbasids are still around good I didn't actually expect him to win he, he won against Abyssinia for I think that was Mercuria good job If I was to declare war on this Abbasid for Fars, that's like the entire fucking thing. What else have you got? You got a tiny little bit in Galilee. The problem here would be getting my forces here fast enough. I don't think I could do it. That's good territory here, though. Roman Empire never hit this far east. Sort of, this was as far east as they ever went. Got to there. Finally realizing Justinian's dream of a revived Roman Empire. And yet, even with all this, we are not as large as what the Roman Empire was. You know, for the majority of its existence. We're getting there. Because there's still Britannia as well, that's a big chunk of territory. And we haven't finished Iberia and finish this. But you know, we got some territory that they never had. They never had this, or this, or this, or this here. Are you cynical or something? Yeah, oh, okay. I'm cynical as well, so... Whatever. No, it's not a good trait to have in this game, though. So, there is an Abyssinian revolt. Oh, there's a Abbasid revolt as well. I mean, we wouldn't get the entirety of Fars, but that's a, that's a good chunk of territory. These guys also have a revolt. We've got, I think, the entirety of the Champagne region. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. I can call upon all my vassals here. Pretty easily, they'll have more or less recovered. Great amount of conquest has been had during his um, during his reign. So that was the Queen of Egypt. The current Queen of Egypt is. Oh my God! Did you inherit everything out that way? No, you didn't, but you've certainly made a mess of it. You're of my dynasty though, right? This is what's going to happen now. The things are just going to turn into a massive mess. There's no point trying to keep it all together because it's just, it won't happen. I definitely think now it would be a good time, since I haven't been using any vice royalties, as things start to split up, I'm certainly going to need more vassal limit, so we'll get rid of vice royalties so that I can increase my vassal limit. I just, I don't need them. Because essentially, what will probably eventually happen is I'll have, more or less, for every kingdom that exists, 
Which, if you have a look here, there's a lot of fucking kingdoms. For every kingdom that exists, I'll have one vassal. That's the worst case scenario. Some kings will hold on to multiple titles. And there'll be the odd duchy here and there. But, you know, we can get rid of it. Every, uh, more or less every duke, except for maybe Thracia. Because, uh, I'm the king of Thracia. Oh, wait, I destroyed that title, didn't I? Oh, jeez, we took a beating with that. Guess we didn't fully recover from the previous war. So right, no defensive pack this time. Where's my forces here from Epirus? Yeah, get another two 2,000 men over there, that'll help. Someone's coming in, uh, then they back off. Good. We need to make sure we've got full control over this. They can't be having any of it. So, prioritize knocking him off this spot. This will probably end the revolt as well. Another easy war. Just got to be opportunistic and look for those uh, those sweet spots. Cool. Our, our um, realm size is pretty good. What did I get it up to with my Jerusalem campaign? I think it was like 3,000, 3,500 by the end of the campaign. So like half that size at the moment. I didn't end the revolt, but it's unlikely the revolt will win now. Okay, so what I want to see here is if they're of my dynasty, we let them, we let them do it their rebellion, but if they're not, then I try to stop them. It's fine. It's important that my dynasty is in power in as many places as possible. Fuck, you've got a lot of kingdoms. Let's organize a betrothal. My daughter's too young there. Should be fine, I hope. Doesn't matter if it's matrilineal or not, same same um same house. Don't know if that was a good idea or not, but whatever. It's done. Okay, so Greece is no longer of my dynasty. Epirus, no longer of my dynasty. But Valachia is. In my personal preference, all titles should go to Valachia. So maybe let's keep an eye out. You've only got one kingdom. Let's see if I can imprison you. No, I don't want to undo that. It's... He's only got one kingdom as well. Yeah. Got to spread our dynasty around.
at least she's pregnant. Alright, now what about that original plan? He, this guy here is, is currently busy fighting quite a few wars. We still need to take Genoa and Orvieto if we want to get the get the Empire back under control. Change it from Byzantine to Roman Empire. Which has a few bonuses here and there. I do think that Imperial Conquest or Reconquest is not as good as Holy War. So Holy War is great because you just kick out everyone. That's not of your religion. Whereas the other one just vassalizes them. Hmm. Let's just wait for a better opportunity. No, you know what? Let me have a look here. No, I'm not at full strength yet. I'd love to see some of these kingdoms disappear. Yeah, there's definitely more than there used to be, that's for sure. Romania didn't used to be there at the start. Let's get the Duchy of Crimea and hand that over to... Over to you. Oh, so it's split from Trebizond. Okay. Right. Should get matrilineally married. Betrothed. To... My kinsman over here. 14, 5, yeah, whatever. Let's look at the border gore on France. It's still, it's just, it's all over the place. Mind smashing you up again. It's always enjoyable to give you a good pounding. Now the Milanese, that's a different story entirely. That's it just takes me way too long to get down there. Muslim. Okay. So he's only got 4,000 men left at his disposal. If I took Marrakesh, it would go down, probably. What's going on here is... Yeah, someone's trying to get this. So this will... We'll get a head start with this. Alright, let's do it. Marrakesh. Let me just see what else there is. Suez. Suez. Might go for this, because this would be easier to hit for. So they've still got a holding here. Oh shit, how long have these ships been here for? Oh, Sicily, I'm sorry. That's why you hate me so much. Oh, no you don't. Oh well. Whoops. Right, you spawn here and you take that down. Seems like Anatolia is soon to be not my most powerful vassal.
Africa's getting nice and thick. Oh, that's right, because they got all those territories. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Africa's huge. Do I need any more troops than that? Yeah, yeah, let's just... Let's not take any risks. Oh, is that all I got? Come down over here. What else have we got? It's not much, but I'll take it. Alright, that'll have to do. Let's, let's keep moving. Oh fuck, they, they won it, which is fine, but I don't get the, the bonus shit from it now. Hey, no, 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 whoops. Maybe she needs to get married. How old is she? Oh, she's already... Oh, she already got married and the guy died. Oh. Oh, well, these things happen, don't they? Don't seem to be getting any war score from that. We need to move fast, but this one here is quite badly damaged. Nah, I don't need you. So far, so good. 31% without any real sign of any danger. As commerce in Rome grows, a number of Jewish merchants, ah, oh, fucking merchants, have requested permission to settle their families in one of the towns so that they can manage the business more effectively. This would likely lead to increased tax revenue, but local religious authorities will disapprove. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be gone. Whatever. Don't need this extra city. Taxes. Oh, uh, what was that permanent? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's too late now. I may have actually got that money back from that twenty-five percent. All right, good. This time, gotta remember it. Let he drop down. Them. Okay, let's grab this. Good. It's a decent chunk of territory. Hand it over to you. And of course, it'll fragment. You know, if you have yourself a couple of sons, it'll fragment upon your death. So, worry about that when we get to it. But, 
the Mohalabids, they are just gone, really. They're, there's barely anything left of them now. Not of my dynasty, but it's also a revolt against someone who's not against my not of my dynasty, so whatever. I'll let it let it keep going. Oh, made a friend, whatever's. Alright, what else can we do? See the run prosper? Probably won't happen, but we'll see. Popular? Where did I get that from? Sixty-one years old. So if we can do two at the same time. this. Oh, look, France has made a little bit of a comeback up here in Scotland. Game's choking a bit. I need a new apprentice. Alright, it's fine. Few raiders there. Okay, what kind of there's some kind of rebellion or something going up on over here? Man, look at this! It's a fucking mess now. Hard to see what's going on. Oh well, that's what happens. There's no point trying to control it too much. Just try to stop things from going completely out of hand. The best I can do is just try to make sure that my my dynasty are on these thrones. That's all I can really hope to do. But controlling who owns what, just not possible. And with powerful vassals, they go out there and they go and capture the territory without me having to do it. And we continue to expand the realm. Of course, most of the expansion will happen through my hands, waiting for good opportunities to show up. Looks like we're just taking some more territory down here. He, he just took on the Malinese. Good job. Making us look real big now. In terms of surface area, we might actually be bigger than the Roman Empire now, because this is a shitload of, you know, square miles. Even if it's like nobody lives there. That doesn't mean we're as great as the Roman Empire yet, but in terms of square kilometers or square miles... I don't know. Maybe. Get those nice big garrisons in there. Oh, somebody died. How 
we going with technology? What can we do? I don't need to send legalism any further up. No, I just leave that. Oh, I could go trade practices. Nah, I won't worry about that right now. During the time of the raider, not really a big deal. Alright, let's see if we can send them some stuff. Ah, uh, this guy here is an excellent commander. Like, I'm sure some people are like, why are you sending, you know, good commanders away? Hang on. He's my nephew, though, so he's... He's not of my dynasty. Because, you know, the value is quite high. This one here is not of... He's not as good. Maybe. Alright, look, I'll go with him. That's fine. Um, since send a eunuch, we have... Why does he want this one so much? Because he's very intelligent. But he's of low born. Or I can send this Muslim here, who is very intelligent. This character's completely memorized the Quran. Good for you, go be a eunuch. And as a concubine, I've got a bastard kinswoman here. She's not really well appreciated. This one here is my niece. No. Anyway, we've got enough to get ourselves another artifact. Han Tapestry. Alright, let's have a look at that. Don't think it's one of the best ones. Short rain years plus two. Actually, that's not too bad. And it didn't take up a library slot, so that's good. Quality three. No, I'm happy with that. That'll help um, our descendants. Did we get any more territory out here? I don't think we did. No, these guys here took it. Another daughter. Oh well. It's okay. We have an heir. As long as he's kept safe, that's all that matters. It's not, he's not the best, but that happens sometimes. Hmm, all right. Some territory here that would be pretty easy to hit. And he's in the defensive pact against us, so why not conquer them, since it's easy, before they unite into somewhere else? This should be all I need. I just hope our morale is high enough by the time they get there. Seems so. And then maybe hit province next. Keep the trade route going. Okay, done. Easy war. Alright, this will be handed over to Italy. And what we're doing here is reducing the number of independent realms. If we have a look here, how are we faring to everyone else? So, the Deccan Empire has been surpassed by Utsang. I don't know who the fuck that is. But their realm size is only 72, so I don't think... Oh, I just realized the Seljuks might be showing up soon. Oh god, those guys are annoying. Um, so in terms of realm size, the Deccan Empire is still our closest rival, which is way beneath us. We're five times their size. 
It might actually be a good idea to, to land him now. I'm gonna give him Antioch. Actually, before I do that, let's get him married. She, she'll do an alright job as a wife. stuff. So I don't know who the Utsang is. Why don't we actually check? So it's this here. It's like Tibetan or something. gonna hit next. If we took this territory here, we'd probably turn this and this our colour. Not that that's a priority. Alright, that's fine. Make sure. Yep, he's still still get the vote. How's our threat? Yeah, okay. It's it's not gonna go back down to zero. This is not gonna happen. Even if I do nothing, our vassals will ensure constant conquest. Because they're powerful, which is of my design, that's what I wanted. I want them to be able to bypass my threat and take on lesser lords and conquer them. So there's still province over here, which was ruled by Muslims, but now it's not. Why, why not conquer them? And that'll connect our lands out here. The fewer independent realms, the better. Again, looking at this, we get an idea of seeing how many independent realms there are. Um, I wish I could get a number on that, but if I just at a glance, it kind of looks like maybe 50 or 60. That's, that's just at a glance without actually counting. So that means whenever I go to war, that's 50, 60 people that I have to go to war with. These guys are too far away to, to join a defensive pact at the moment. You know, new independent realms pop up all the time. Uh, you know what, I might actually give that to my son. So that he can get more wealth out of it. Because I'll just get that wealth back when we die. It does seem to me like the game's choking a little bit now. Which tends to happen when you start to get big.
We have a son. I really doubt we are going to live to the age of 70, let alone close to 80. So I don't think you're going to to become the, the next emperor. You're just, you're just too young. You came too late. But I'll try. We'll see. If you can get her pregnant, that would be a good idea. Oh, she got consumption. It's not good. That's right. One thing that we were doing as well oops, is developing up this sick house here so that the plague does not border Rome. But I need to get these two regions here to, again, put the hospitals there to protect Rome, act as like a buffer. Especially when the Black Death comes. If these, if these three regions here have got good quality hospitals, then, like, they're probably going to get hit with plague at some point, but we might just be able to resist it long enough that it won't hit Rome. Probably not, though. So what are you doing now, Sicily? You're attacking Saxony. Cool. I don't even know where this war is taking place. This rebellion. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'll sort it out. into that. Alright, so what about hitting these guys up again? Yeah, I'm not too concerned about losing the prestige. Hmm. I think we should... So where is Blemia? Then we should go for um, Marrakesh here. Yeah, alright, that's what we're going to do. Oh, too many troops there. have to try up further up the coast. Um, I reckon that should be enough. These guys are way too weak for us to really bother sending huge amounts of troops at them. Are you kidding? He's fucking sick. This is why I don't want to fucking land my vassals, uh, my heirs. Fuck's sake. If we, it's my only adult son that I can... God damn it. This is why I don't want to land them. I don't want to get them married or anything like that because they go off and they don't close the fucking gates and they get themselves sick. You should land your sons. He would make an income. Yeah, but he fucking dies. What good is he to me then? Oh man, we're getting some major choking here. I'm sure if we eliminate some more realms, that should... Mm, actually, no, it probably wouldn't, wouldn't, um, wouldn't speed up the game because you still have the characters here, and it's very much a character-driven game. I swear, if my son dies, I'll never land my heirs again. Alright, that's it. Give it up, you little shit. Marrakesh is mine. 
so for some reason, this guy here thinks he owns an empire. But then again, the Byzantines are one to talk about scoffing at someone having low territory. Alright, I need your land. Thank you very much. Create this. I wonder if I've got any prisoners that I should ransom off. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Alright, we've got enough money that we could totally justify some more uh, retinues. I, I want to wait until I've got 104,000 available so that I can get another group of 10,000 and put them on one of my other holdings just to protect against raiders. How the hell did they get Kurdistan? Oh shit! Looking straight at them. There they are right there. Give me some troops here. That's not enough. What else you got for me? Alright, that might just be enough. Uh, let me just see here. Trap this piece of shit. Go, go, go. Just have to go now. They'll destroy the, the, the trade post. Just keep him pinned down. Come on, hurry up. Good, 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 good. God, just in the nick of time there. Fucking ass monkey. Yeah, and he died to the last man. Good. Fucking bastard. Trying to destroy my trade post. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Just wanted to pin him down. Alright, this isn't exactly valuable, but no one can really stop us. I don't have enough ships. Alright, that's fine. Alright. An uneven distribution of ships between the, the rebellion and stuff. It's alright, it happens. You just gotta keep in mind we've got no morale. Wait for our troops to show up. And we have 30,000 men with some morale, they should be able to beat this, no problem. I have at times dreamed of having every single county, every single barony, every single duchy, and every single kingdom being held by one dynasty. I just... The amount of effort to go through to get that done. Oh my god. Good stuff. So that took out an independent lord. One person out of the uh, defensive pact. Let's 
Seems like the Western Protectorate out here keeps getting pushed back just a little bit at a time without me having to deal with it. Good. I, I don't want to touch those Horse Lords. I just, don't, I just don't want to deal with it. It's more effort than it's worth. Shit land, and they're tough fighters. Let my vassals handle it. So when are the Seldrics going to show up? They should have shown up by now. I think they're supposed to show sometime between the 9th and 10th century. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want them to show up. They usually show up somewhere around here, and they head fucking west. Keep that Arpazlan away from the Byzantine Empire. Although, with the strength that I have here, their event spawned armies won't last that long against us. But if they don't show up, it is going to make things a lot easier. Because in the Jerusalem campaign, the Mongols never showed up for some reason. I don't know why. They just never showed up. Well, it's certainly good that he's, he's of that religion. Should we fight him? Let's have a look at the different duchies there. I don't know. At least I can holy war them. So I'd like to like clean up, you know, all of this here. That would be good. So keep going. Definitely want to focus on Western Europe as opposed to the East right now, just because I, marching my men across here, it's like attrition central, and at least I can get things around by sea here. Let me have a look in England. Ah, uh, that's England. Okay, an Orthodox Heresy, so I could, I could attack that, right? Ah, uh, don't border them for a Holy War. I'm leaning towards attacking him. Have you got a rebellion going on? seems really small. It is really small. That's a good amount of territory to take. So is that. I don't want anything up there. There's Aragon as well. Like that's that'd help tidy things up a little. The bo the border I'm sure is making you OCD fuckers really uh, piss yourselves in anger. Um, it's just a case of do I think I can smash them fast enough that the defensive pact won't rape me in the meantime. I do think I, I can, but I have to move across the coast, along this way, not necessarily through here. Maybe I'll get Aquitaine to do it and everyone else will show up in various areas. Alright, let's take Aragon. What's this? Duchy of Barcelona, County of Barcelona. Uh, this should be transferred over to you. Same with that, but I'm... Uh, whatever. Okay, if I call some troops here, 18,000 men. Looks like you have handled the rebellion. Alright, I want you to sort out these areas here. I feel like if I just march these guys down here... If I just march them down here, they're, they're going to take attrition. So I'd be better off actually sailing them up. Actually, I want you to land there. 
Good, that's a decent number of troops. And then... Which is my most powerful vassal led here? Okay, it seems like Greece should more or less deliver. And the big downside for this time is that it takes time to get there. Which will cost me a war score in other areas. That's the thing. The only way you can beat the defensive back is if you do it quickly. At this stage. You know, when you reach the end of the game you own 90% of the territory. Then the defensive pack doesn't matter. Especially if all your regions are 6.5 fort. Took a lot of damage on that. We've got 30,000 men there. Let's move along the coast. We're already doing pretty well. I might even be able to fight them again directly after this. Hmm. That worked out pretty well. Alright, so what happened to the... Okay, whatever. I'll just have to give it to him individually. That certainly helped with Border Gore, that's for sure. So, total losses were only 7,000 men. It's not so bad. Okay, do we want to go for it again? Because I'm not concerned about my prestige in this generation. Um, look, I'll transfer this over to you. Because we can still tidy this up over here. And that way we've got the entirety of the Eastern Iberian Peninsula. He's still quite strong. Hmm. I might, might give it a bit of a rest. So, no, that's part of the this empire still. Ooh, he's got less than a thousand men. What a shithead. Alright, so where did these rebels show up? Has my son been married yet? He's stressed. I can brew him a potion to try and keep him alive. He, oh yeah, he does have a son, so that's good. His son should be renamed. Oh, I don't yeah, we just sort that out. That's right. Commanders of the Varangian Guard don't matter. They're just replaced with someone else immediately. Fucking raiding Constantinople like a little bitch. Let's go kill them.
probably want to try to escape. Or maybe not. Okay, so we can now upgrade an economic advance. Castle infrastructure, certainly good. We're very, very much ahead of schedule though, very much ahead of time. That would help against plague, considerably. But it still should be centuries before we see the, the bubonic plague. Getting barracks and militia training ground 3 would be probably more helpful, so I'm going to go with that. Keep them pinned down as long as you can, or come in and help. Oh shit, if they raid that region, that's my trade post. Good. I do like more technology. Where's that other revolt? Okay, it should be easy enough to deal with. Oh, you little shit. Okay, there's still another one somewhere. Where? Should be able to catch him there and finish it. Oh, it's here. Okay. If I just land there, that's not gonna work. I gotta land here. That's a that's a big revolt right there. Now, I should be able to beat them given my numbers, but we do have to cross a straight. So let's make sure that we've got commanders here. Is it just me, or is it always fucking auto-saving? It's so irritating. I'm trying to click stuff. you got to make decisions, like, like so often in this, and it's like, eh, I've got to save, i oh, got to save. Fucking Iron Man mode. Okay, good, we'll win. Cool. 
thing is, eventually, I kind I would like to embrace the Hellenistic revival, but I know that's going to be pretty fucking tough. Man, you're living a long time. this. Did it fucking split? Dipshit. This is why I... It did. It split like in multiple ways. Ugh. This is, it, it wouldn't let me do it though. Wouldn't... Well, I just... I can't control everything. Epidemic in the Parlor Empire. The information is vague, but word is people are dying like flies. Oh my god. Get ready for a dynasty fuck over. Is it, is it time? Is it... It's the Black Death. Oh my god, it's like 300 years early. Well, no wars now. No wars for a while. No nothing. This is gonna this is gonna ruin Europe for a long time to come. Okay, so with this, we want this. Oh, that's okay. What what are you doing? What are you doing? You are second war of the tyranny. I want I want you to actually give in to the revolt. I'd owe you a favor. Okay. <laughs> and someone else came into power, but that's fine. Alright, now this person here, your child, is already betrothed. Yeah, trying to put myself on the throne. There's not many places in the world that have a greater technological edge than Rome right now. Yep, this Black Death is coming. Oh, well, this event only happens once in a campaign. But it's, it's, it'll hit everywhere in the world. We just need to be ready to close the gates. escaping this. And it's going to very badly affect our, our income for a while, and everywhere that's flourishing is going to go back to being depopulated. But Europe will recover, and we won't experience anything like this again. Do you know what would be the worst thing right now, is if the Seljuks showed up in conjunction with this? Because they're not affected by attrition, they're event spawn troops, I would not be able to fight them. Anywhere else we want to attack, we've got to do it now. Is any good? Nah.
How many members are in our house? Living members, 101. A lot of prestige. Just thinking about maybe hitting them up. One last time before we go. Alright, just, just, just wait. coming. So I found that the Black Death usually lasts about 5 to 10 years. Maybe 15 years at the most. It comes through, it hits everywhere. It usually doesn't hit anywhere more than once. And then that's it. Like, we're not going to be making much money or anything like that, so just, yeah, just don't even worry about it. It's just a time, we've just got to wait for it to pass. As I did with the Jerusalem campaign, I... I, um... I built up a perfect hospital in in Jerusalem, and it still didn't protect me. Try to protect my son, but it's, it's not going to work. He needs to, he needs to shut the gates. It's still just isolated in India, but there's nothing stopping it. It's crossing into Persia now. Aquitaine. Okay, I want you to be on that throne, so I want you to give in. Good, he gave, gives it up. And we've... Good, we put... We put our dynasty back on the throne of Aquitaine. Excellent. Really good. Okay, so this this count of Malcolm belongs to you. Good. This time, try not to to lose it. I'll always try to back up my dynasty. Because that way, you know, if if ever I die without an heir, you know, without a son or anything, I can always just fall back on one of the kings. And if we have a look at the inheritance, it's still, still going to be Count of Antioch. It's coming. It's going to come hard and fast. Basically, you just have to stop, drop, and roll. The plague approaches. Yeah. Oof. These places will be getting depopulated. Yeah. Starting to, I mean.
Ah, so he's conquering his vassals that eventually, that, that in a revolt, um, got their independence. We might have time for just one more cheeky war before this, before this plague comes. Uh, I'd be a truce breaker though. Oh, that doesn't matter though. So what are we going to get out of this? Castile seems like a good choice. It's a good chunk of land. Alright, let's do that. Okay, I want Aquitaine to actually sort out here. I'll have Africa. Oh my god, you fucking nuts. Oh, there's just this disease here. Just try to move hard and fast. Sucks. Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. Shit. Doesn't have enough ships. There's an Aquitanian revolt. Um, I want you to peace with Aquitaine. Just one last cheeky war before the revolt. Ah, uh, before the play comes. Alright, still got 14,000 men that I can call in. Let's see what I can get around the places. There's not much more I can do. Why are we already at minus 31? That's not good. Come on, hurry up. Okay, we almost got it to zero at least. Okay, we're at six percent. So what happened here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. Good, 35%. Nice to see. Keep moving. And they surrender. Nice. Alright, that'll be the last war we fight for the duration of the plague, so it really doesn't matter if we don't disband them in the right place. Alright, I just gotta hand that all over to Aquitaine. Which is actually quickly becoming my strongest vassal. That's okay, I can count on them for the time being. Additional five t uh, five counties added into us.
Here it comes. Now, please tell me that you... Yeah, you did. You closed the gate. You didn't get the Black Death. Live through this, boy. Live through it. Here it comes. I'm just really hoping the Seljuks don't show up during this, because I will be in big trouble. Is it here? It's here. But that's just not going to hit us immediately. So we just have to wait until it does hit us. The moment it hits us, that's when we close the gate. Because we've got a fair bit of resistance. It's not going to protect us. There it is. There it is. Shut the gate. And if we ever look at India, oh my god, that entire time. Let's just hope we don't have any bad food things that happens. He's already a cannibal, so fuck if we gotta if we gotta eat some humans, so be it. It's not gonna make anything worse. But you gotta survive this. So does his son. He's already got a food short he's got a trivial food shortage. Okay. Mm, twins. And now we wait. The greatest empire in the world right now is the Empire of the Plague. Caused by rats, or fleas that live were on rats. Funny story though. I've had an encounter with fleas. Um, you know, it was, it was a particularly rainy period. One year. And, um, you know. There must have been fleas in the backyard. They latched onto the dog. And me and the wife spent ages trying to get rid of these fucking fleas. She did most of the work, of course. Um, but anyway, these fleas didn't just annoy my dog. They also fucking bit the shit out of me. And I had all these fucking red sores running up and down my leg for fucking ages. And they were so goddamn itchy. But then, you know, using tablets, powders, combs, we got rid of them. And got rid of them off the dog, and then they stopped biting me. Because they were dead. Some people might find this weird, but the dog actually sleeps with us in our bed. She's just a little dasher, and she's so cute. She's basically a teddy bear. Hey, get the f fuck out of me, cunt! God damn it. Uh, I might give it to my son so he can recover it. Don't you think raiding during the Black Plague is a bad idea, you dipshit? Everyone's depopulated. So focused on the plague, I didn't see him coming. That'll go away. Huh. Alright, well that should go to you. Alright, son. I'm gonna give you trapezus. So just get it back anyway, and I want you to rebuild it. You got money? You got money. Alright, good. I don't need to give you any. 
Why can't they destroy the one at um, Antioch? That'd be that would have been much more preferable. Is it just me, or did we go further out? No, 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 we haven't. But it's looking not so border gory out here. And this is starting to tidy up a fair bit. Starting to tidy up. How did they miss the plague? Oh, they've... There's no hospital. How did they... They don't get it. Anyway, with that, I think we'll end the episode there. We're at an hour and a half. So, the Black Death is showing up some 300 years too too early. 300, maybe 400 years too early, but um, it's okay. We'll get through this. It seems like my heir is, is doing a good job as well. Getting through. He's got trivial few chores. That's okay. This will pass, and Europe will recover, and this only happens once. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 17 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.